Can we tell the difference between a one-star product and a five-star product? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. Today's very special Black Friday episode is sponsored by Capital One. Eno is your intelligent assistant that helps you manage your Capital One accounts and protect your money 24 seven. Eno alerts you to suspicious charges, sends bill pay reminders, and is even there for you at checkout online to make shopping safer and easier. Mm -hmm. I actually heard from Eno earlier today who let me know that my credit card bill was due and mm. turkeys are expensive, y'all. Eno. How much dough do I owe on my credit card? $1,752.19. Okay. I shouldn't have bought all that pizza dough. <laughs> Tell me something to make me feel better. <laughs> Why did the football coach go to the bank? to get his quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Eno's got dad jokes for <laughs> okay. days. Today is the perfect day to get started with Eno because it's Black Friday. That's right, the one day of the year where you throw on your battle gear and head out to conquer the best sales at your favorite stores to get your smart shopping on. But just how smart are we when it comes to shopping and can we determine just by looking at them which products rate well and which products rate poorly? It's time for, are these online products Products, the bomb diggity, or were the reviews wiggity wiggity whack? Sponsored by Capital One. Okay, we're gonna receive two different products. One has an overwhelming amount of five star reviews. The other product has a majority one star reviews. And after we thoroughly investigate both products, Stevie is gonna give us a three, two, one, and we're gonna put our hand over which product we think is the one starer. Yes. And whoever gets the most right wins a product of their choice at the very end. Let's play. Round one. Okay, first up we've got an animatronic cockroach versus a UFO detector. Which is the one star product? Oh, okay. Uh, first of all, I have a working one here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Ooh, turn it that. on. Now, this thing is $11.99. That's pretty cheap for something that's got packaging a lot better than this thing, which costs $87.66. And detects UFOs though, which is very handy. Oh, oh yeah, there she goes. Put, put the cockroach in my hand. Over here. Uh oh, up, oh. up, up, up. It's hiding behind the microphone. Oh. Uh oh, we're seeing a one star <laughs> performance. <laughs> no, I'm no. just saying. User error. User error, seriously? Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, cause I don't know how to back it up. Does it fly like a cockroach? Or if you cut off its head, this thing still responds to remote control for the next two weeks. <laughs> um, and of course, here, unboxed, is the UFO detector. It looks like a um, uh, circuit board. UFO detector, $87.66. And then you put the cover what? over it, and then you just wait for it to detect a UFO, I guess. I've always wondered if we had a UFO. Let's see if it let's see if it can detect a roach. Well, it's not flying. What if it were flying? Oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It, it didn't go up. off the table. Okay. Uh, feel, here's the thing. Is it detecting a UFO? Is that what those yeah, I bulbs think, mean? I think it's constantly detecting a UFO. You guys ready to guess? This yes. Uh, so we're putting our hand over the crappy one. Uh-huh. Okay. Three, two, one. It's gotta be this if one. If you I pay mean, $87 for this thing and you're pleased, you're crazy. Right, because no UFO's ever gonna show up. Everyone's disappointed. Yeah. So the product that has the, the majority one star reviews is the cockroach. No, this hold thing's on. amazing. Hold well, hold on, what you're saying is this has majority five star reviews. Oh, come on. Th this is, this is having, I could have fun for hours with this. But how does this get five stars? I guess it really detects UFOs. <laughs> Who would've known? <laughs> Round two. Next, we've got the baby gender reveal golf balls versus mm. money-eating coin bank, Ooh. which is the one-star product. 
Oh. All right, so. Can they both be? <laughs> Money Eating Face Bank. I've got an opened version here. It's very lightweight. It's made out of plastic, but feel the, the front of that thing is rubberized. That's not creepy at okay, all. So I got some pennies here. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, nothing happened. I'm gonna grab a penny. It looks like that guy from season one of Doctor Who who was in the, who was the skin face. You ready, you ready, here we go. <laughs> nothing. That's that's what's supposed to happen, nothing? I don't think so. I think it's supposed to actually eat it, but it didn't. Shove, shove it another one back in there. Turn it off, turn it back on again. Hit it a couple of times. Huh. Penny fell. Okay. No, no. Eat it. Eat it, Daddy. Stick Come it on. in. Oh. Oh, it's, oh gosh, did you, oh gosh! It worked out, look it. It's trying to eat it, feed it, Link, feed it! Okay. Oh. It doesn't really, it doesn't really, if I put it right there, it kind of, it doesn't really want to eat it, see? Come on, eat it, eat it. That is so disturbing. It oh, is, oh, oh, I yes, got it! Yes. Hey, you know what, you gotta, you can't force the penny in, but you gotta give it a nice love tap. Okay. It went from a one star performance to potentially five star, I don't know. All right, I'm going to. What's the gender, Rhett? I'm going to reveal the gender of this golf ball. <laughs> uh, Isn't that what I'm doing? No, okay, so of course this is when you, you give grandpa, you give grandpa the golf ball and say, hey dad, get ready to hit the golf ball. <laughs> And then it reveals what gender your baby's gonna be. <laughs> what happened? I see a puff. Oh my of god! Smoke. Well, where is it, Morgan? Do you find it? Can, can I have it, it back up here because I, I can see what flavor I can see what flavor, flavor. That is. You eat your kids, but I don't know if you can. Uh, you can, it says you can, hold on, you know what? I'm gonna do that again. It didn't even, oh, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, man. <laughs> this, 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 everybody ready? Everybody, everybody ready? ready? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but that's pink. It's a girl born into a world of gender stereotypes. Oh, it was pink a cloud. Yes. You, you keep, you get to keep hitting the ball. Is that how it works? Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay, okay. There we go. All right. Sorry. Um, Sorry, guys. Wow. Okay. I can just read the reviews right now. My mom lost her eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, typically it would be on a golf course, I and mean, it wouldn't be this way. Okay. Let's put our hand over the one star item. Here we go. Three, two, one. It has to be this dangerous golf yeah, ball. Yeah, because it doesn't even look like a real golf ball. I think that's the complaint. The <laughs> one star item. Is the money eating coin? Well, bank. No, that's awesome! And it, it had the majority one stars because people hate that it's not great at eating coins. <gasps> yeah. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome at eating them coins. Yeah, it wasn't great at eating coins. And look, it doesn't work the whole time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Round three. Up next, we've got Earthworm Jerky versus Cuttlefish Ink. Which is the one star product? Cuttlefish Ink. This is like squid ink, you can you, you cook with it. I'm not sure what a cuttlefish is, but I'd love to cuddle with one. All right. Well, let's break into that. We really gotta see how jerky the worms are, I guess. You know what? <laughs> what? That's a trick. You a can't bag. give that one star, bag. Dub double packed. Bag in a bag, man. Dump it. Oh, oh look. gosh. It's oh, just... look, it's got a moisture pack. Or is this a weird earthworm? No, that's to dry, to dry it out. To keep it dry, keep oh, it, keep yeah, it jerked, right. to keep it desiccated. So that is oh a that is just a dried up earthworm with some seasoning on it. Why? Why not, man? Oh, that's not tasty. It tastes like some sort of glue compound, something you would like repair a boat with. It actually tastes a lot like the worms that I've had. Oh gosh, it's yeah, it's very wormy. You know what I need it's to replace spicy. that taste with? Cuttlefish ink. Yeah, why don't you just drink it straight? Oh my word, we've been here before. This one is $14.24, that one's $14.39. They're so close! Hey, remember that thumbnail from oh, years gosh, back? Oh that stinks. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna spit that out. It's great. 
None went in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Is it thick? Um, uh, it's got a stink to it. Come on, man. Let's both take it. I just don't want you to spit cuttlefish, cuttlefish ink on me. <laughs> Here you go, right? Why'd you give me so much? For the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Where's my thumbnail camera? Right there. Golly, I don't want to do this, man. I just feel like it'll affect me for the rest of the day. You already got a little bit on your nose. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, from Come on, you... Gomer. Dink it. Is it one star or five? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was a thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh god. It's very oh. salty. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> mm, mm. Uh, oh, it doesn't stain my mouth. Can I tongue back? Okay. That's not bad, actually. Oh, gosh, you got it on your teeth, too. All right, guys, I'm going to need an answer. Well, that was, that's some high-quality cuttlefish ink, man. Yeah, it is. All right, I'm ready for an answer. Okay. Uh, Three, two, one. It's got to be these yeah, worms. Yeah, yeah. Tastes like Satan's spawn. You the ink, on the other hand. Both. Correct. Yes. yes. And yeah. um, high quality. It was rated poorly because it was seasoned poorly. It, it yeah, it needed to be seasoned strong. I think it was just the wrong choice for jerky. Yeah. yeah. Round four. Okay, guys, we've got the neck exerciser versus the hands-free foot filer. Hands-free foot filer. Which has the most, the majority one-star reviews. Okay, Stevie. First of all, this comes with a lot of Q-tips. You previously asked me to remove my socks, so I'm going to take this thing, put the, put, put it on one foot, is what it seemed to indicate, and then file, like file down my bunion with the other one. Oh, does that, does that unpleasant you? Uh, and I'm gonna try to- Stop doing anything. I'm gonna try to work this. Oh my gosh, Rhett. No, I don't have much of a chin, so I gotta, I gotta really reach out there and get it. I could really get into this. Hands free, mom. Why are you talking to your mom? Cause she's she's so proud right now. She's so impressed. She's always so she's always so impressed with me. It sort of grips you. That is a twisted device. It's, it's like looks, that guy agrees with everything. It looks like yeah, that's a good point. From the side. It looks like he's got like an external windpipe or something. You doing all right today? Yeah. You like that machine? Yeah. You think you got one star reviews? <laughs> okay. I don't know. It, <sighs> man, is, are you cramping? No, I feel great. So you say it works. Okay, I'm ready to vote because this right here, as you can see, hands free. All right. Three, two, one. You know what? I'm going for the win. And I'm voting for myself because it's easier to put my foot here. <laughs> and the answer is the neck exerciser. Yes! Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fun for those for those seconds <laughs> that I did it, but but your neck's not swollen. Yeah, but you know, I've got an, an especially strong neck. I mean, I think for the average person, this would just be it'd be too challenging. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Rhett. So you won. You get to choose anything you want to take home today, <laughs> and I'm just gonna wear this as a shoe. Well, what do you think I'm gonna take home? Seriously, is that the one you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks to Capital One for sponsoring this episode. Go to CapitalOne.com slash Eno to learn more and get started with Eno today. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. My name is Evan, and I am in a dark warehouse in the middle of nowhere. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Evan, we have no way of knowing, knowing if you're telling the truth. <laughs> Seemed pretty dark to me. Click the top link to hear about the most insane Black Friday stories and good mythical more. And to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. What's in store for you at mythical.store on Black Friday? 20 to 40% of all items, that's what. Get all your holiday shopping done at mythical.store.